you're watching my favorite number one YouTube channel existing on the planet. According to estimates, Storm is not going to sell well. It's going to be done after two trade paperbacks. Historically, that is the ev what the evidence suggests. It is a crisis. We're at the end of the world. It's pull the red, pull the red button, push the red button, pull the fire alarm. Everything should be on high radar right now because there is an opportunity for Storm to succeed again. And last time's opportunity was a good opportunity and it didn't succeed. In the history of Storm, in the history of Storm, Storm had a 1996 series you can see up here. It lasted for four issues. Warren Ellis was the creator of it. Cool thing. If it was anything super successful, they'd have resumed it and they would have uh, gone, oh, this character sells well. Let's try it out. But not instead, it took them from 96 all the way to 2006 for them to give it a second try. Here's the thing, though. This 2006 attempt was always going to be a limited series. And it was, it was a thing where they were trying to make Storm and T'Challa be a couple, and they met already years ago, and that was the intention of it. They got one of those uh, novelists who did romance to make this also. It was a different, unique circumstance, and so I don't really count that going a few issues as any evidence towards anything. But again, if this was a higher seller, then Wolverine wouldn't be the only solo X-Men who carries a comic book. It took a lot of time until... The 2014-2015 Storm series, much more contemporary artwork, and this series lasted for 11 issues. The writer on it was a dude named Greg Pak. That is a industry name. And it went to issue number 11. Why did this ongoing series in the year 2015 come to a close? Well, what evidence does Chillmonger have for this? It's the same evidence Chillmonger always has to make this point. Sales. Estimate, 12,674 units of Storm issue number 11 by Greg Pak sold. Only that few, and the company had a, mind, had a decision to make in their mind. Do we go for another trade paperback? Another four, five, ish, five six issues? Do we go another five issues? Or do we decide that sales have been on a decline so high at such a rate that we will start losing money if we produce more Storm comics. Instead, we can just take this writer who we got a good relationship with and have him do something else. It'll be a comic book issue number one, which will sell really high, and that's the business decision they made with Greg Pak, of all people. Now, the time that the X-Men in the 2014-15 era of the X-Men wasn't a very hot one. We, got, we have a lot of problems, a lot of issues during that t time period. The movies interfering, of course, we all know the story. It still doesn't explain only that few thousand of comic books coming out of, of being sold that's disastrous we have a second chance at this it's been about 10 years since that comic book came to a close and a decade later like they, it feels like they try every decade we should have four decades worth of thirsty fans so you older heads are there we should have younger fans not that not that many of them exist in the comic book market but younger fans need to educate themselves and watch videos like Chillmonger breaking down how scarce this these opportunities are to have characters who's you know got skin melanin like the, like the the sun hits them and they're darker than some of the you know, regular guys uh, we keep seeing in these comic books who have ongoing solo series it, it's it's vital that we pounce on these with our dollars issue number one is going to come out it's going to do fine. This is an on, uh, of the new ongoing series by Marewa Ayodeli, who's got like an interview coming up on Black Comic Alerts, and you'll see the link for that after this is done. When, when that comic book comes out at number one, no one's worried. Same with number two, three, four, five, six. It's when we get to issues number nine, 10, 11. That's when the concern comes in, and that's when the sales need to be the highest that they can be. I'm not, I'm not telling you to buy two comic books for issue number one. That's fine. It's, we'll, we'll be good during that period. But when we get to issue numbers eight and nine, you go to your local comic shop and you pick up an extra copy. You tell them you're going to get an extra copy because it's called pre-ordering and that's the only sale that counts in the comic world. You picking up from the shelf that they've already sold the comic. They, Marvel already has their data from like months prior during the final order cutoff date. So don't don't just go and pick up a sh from the shelf. Tell your shop, hey, listen, I'm such a big Storm fan that I want the regular cover A and the variant cover of the same comic book. It'll be comic book issue number eight and nine, but I want that. 
that's when you got to step up your sales and allow for this character not to be uh, not even like in the top 200 of sales. That's how Monica Rambeau petered out. Like she, her, her comic book didn't sell well at all. And there's no rush to put Monica Rambeau on another ongoing solo series. It might take another decade. That's what the community of customers told Marvel Comics. And they're not wrong for doing that. And they won't be wrong if they cancel Storm after a second trade paperback. Marvel Comics rights for the trade. I think we're fine for a first trade. I think we'll be good for to get a second trade. But is the third trade going to happen? That marker of success will this continue? It's up to you to buy that comic book. Historically, Storm doesn't sell. They have every reason not to even attempt to do what they're doing right now. Marvel said that there was a survey of what the retailers thought were the highest profitable X-Men. And some of the answers that came back were Jean Grey Storm. That's why there's a Phoenix book. That's why there's a Storm book. Let's make sure that they are not imagining things. That these are actually high proper X-Men like Wolverine. Who maybe they don't got to sell what Wolverine sells in the 40, 50 thousands. But they can sell 20 thousand, can't they? Storm can do that. T'Challa could do that too. All these other characters, save my money. I'm not spending money on, of course, you heard me say this before. Shuri, Blue Marvel, Luke Cage, Bumblebee, Night Thrasher, Ghost Light. Save your money. But Aurora Monroe, leader of X-Men in the past, highly featured on team books, popular, well-known amongst the casuals. This isn't the character we let go. This isn't the character we go, I'll just pick up Flash on the side. I'll just, I can see her on the stands. I'm going to go pick up Captain Marvel or something else. If you do anything with your dollars thinking, oh, representation is important. It's collecting the Storm comic book, which is going to be an ongoing series with no end in sight. We just watched Wolverine reach 50 issues. X-Force reach 50 issues. The Storm is worthy of this too. The only reason why it won't is because of you. How many people are going to watch this video? I don't know. My regular videos get 100 views, 200 views. So those 200 viewers, if every single one of you took my advice and bought two extra comics, that's only 400 sales. I, know, I understand my level. I get it. I'm still going to make the video. Here's Moroa Ayodeli right there. Boom. I'm going to watch that interview. I hope... Why are you still here? Watch the interview.